Set color depth to 16 bits for the better result. Create a new composition, 1920 by 1080. Add a new black solid. Add one more solid color doesn't matter. Apply a grid effect to it. Select type as width slider, set width to 150 and border to 1. Duplicate the effect, reduce width to 75 and border to 0.5, set transfer mode to normal. Create new white solid, make it 600 by 400. Apply CC ball action to it. Set grid spacing to 25 and ball size to 5. Now add a black solid, make it comp size. Crop it with the ellipse mask, invert it, set feather to 350 and mask expansion to minus 200. Select our three layers and pre-compose them. Create a new solid, apply gradient ramp effect, spread apart start and end points, change colors to some reddish tint. Now add transform effect and lower the opacity to 45. Let's return to our grid pre-comp and set blending mode to add and lower the opacity to about 10. Create a new solid and apply tau effect to it, disable it for now. Create another solid and draw an ellipse mask press shift alt click while dragging to draw from center. Add new point light to the scene, don't forget it to name it Tau, naming is important here. Set radius to 125. Now let's copy mask value from previous layer and paste it to the position of the light. Turn on the Tau layer. We don't need path generator. In path from lights tab check size from radius parameter. Set segment count to 72 and numbers of size to 4, chamfer to 5 and size to 5. Moving to the next tab. Set repetitions to 5, world POSX to 0, a world rotate to 5, minus 5 and minus 45, segment size X and Y to 125, leave Z at 0. Segment POS values should be minus 5, 10, and 36. Now let's activate second repeater and add two copies. World POS X, Y, and Z values should be 50, 0, and 50. Set world X and Y rotate to minus 17 and minus 10. Random size value should be 25. In the world transform tab set X, Y and Z to minus 45, 30, minus 70. Now we are going to light our scene. Add a point light with intensity set to 75. Position it wherever you want.
Duplicate the light and decrease the intensity to 50. Move it around to light different part of the geometry. We need one more light. Name Taolumi, all in caps, set intensity to 100 and color to some bright red. Set radius to zero. Place it inside of the geometry. In the Material and Lighting tab modify specular, metal and fresnel values to get an interesting look. Check light fall off to smooth. Don't forget to check include Taolumi lights. Taolumi is a special light type, read more about it in the manual. I want to apply a texture to our geometry. First thing first, import any texture, I will use Tech It Pack from the French Monkey Check it out this is pretty cool. Drag and drop it to the new comp, add grey solid place it below. Set blending mode to add and opacity to 25. Add our map to the main comp and hide it. Add map to the color and specular channels, play around with settings for best results. Finally set shader type to smooth bump up a little hour and set super sample to 4x for better quality. Create an 80mm camera, right click create orbit null. Position it to 777, 540 and 1705. Precompose all related layers. Now having our main geometry we will use it to create other elements. Duplicate it. In the rendering tab set draw type to wireframe. Duplicate again. Now set draw type to points, size to 1.75. Duplicate the original composition once again. Scale up light using 3D null, set radius to 75. For the different look we will use town naming commands. Generally you can modify a few parameters that way. Learn more in the manual. Also set size to 3. Now add all duplicated instances to the composition. Create solid and apply a fractal noise. Set some contrast and brightness values, increase scale and add more complexity.
Add levels effect to make a few tweaks. Pre-compose it. Set track map to Luma inverted. Duplicate it two times and set track map to Luma mat. Pre-compose points layer with its Luma mat. Add a glow effect, set threshold to 45 and radius to 50. Duplicate glow effect and set threshold to 0 and radius to 150. Set blending mode to add or screen. Pre-compose all previous layers to clean it up a bit. Create new adjustment layer. Apply set channels effect and choose saturation, add solid composite with black color, add curves and modify it a bit for more contrasty result, finally add hue and saturation effect and set it to 15. Set mode to add and lower the opacity to 50. Create another layer and add curves effect. Make some S curve. Add color balance effect and play around to get an interesting grading. Next we will add some depth of field effect using camera lens blur. Set value to 18 and check repeat edge pixels. We need the depth map, create a solid and apply black and white radial gradient. Pre-compose it. Select it as the blur map, invert it if you need to. Next I will use exposure effect to make some tweaks. If you think your image is too bright and too saturated, add tint effect on top. You can add sapphire effect, chroma warp, we used it in previous lesson. Set its Z distance to 0 0.99. Last let's add a grain to our image to make it look more interesting. Select any preset you like and play with the settings a little for desired result. We just finished our work. Congratulations everyone. To export a still image go to Composition, Save Frame as. In the Rendering tab choose Quality and Image Format then specify your destination folder and press Render button. That's all, bye thanks for watching.